editing the parts list. I can edit the parts list by highlighting it, right clicking and saying edit parts list or I could just double click on that and it'll bring up the parts list. Uh, the first thing we want to take a look at when we edit it is the column chooser. When I click on this column chooser, uh, by default, Inventor puts in just a handful of properties. You can add in more properties, such as maybe I want to go with material, and I'll say add. And maybe I want to come down and put in vendor, and put in add. And I might want to put in the stock number, let's say for the vendor, so I'll say add. And I can uh, move these around however I want. I can highlight this one, and I can move this down to the, to the end of the list. And I could say OK, and that you can see adds in my materials here, uh, different things in my uh, parts list. So I can also go to group settings. This is my group settings, and when I turn on the group, I can set the first key to the group settings. So, in other words, I'm grouping them in various groups when I do this, so I can place. Uh, uh, various groups that are similar together uh, so I can say I want to take all the steel and group them together and then all the aluminum and then all the wood for example I could group together in that uh, format if I wanted to do it that way um, I also have um, filter settings and the filter settings then uh, I can say which things do I want to filter and so I don't have to see uh, basically uh, everything I can kind of filter down the list I can do it just things that are ballooned or just purchase parts so I can choose however I want to filter down this list um, I can also sort uh, this will allow me to sort uh, and I can sort it by whatever I can sort by whatever items I want so I could sort by maybe the item number first and then I could sort after that by maybe the vendor uh, so I have a way of having multiple levels of sorting. I can do three levels of sorting in this method. I can export out. I can take this list and export it out, typically into a Microsoft Excel worksheet, but I could also uh, go in various other types of things, like a text or a tab delineated, uh, comma delineated, stuff like that. So I can export those into different... Uh, databases or spreadsheets. Uh, the table layout. Uh, the table layout is how we want to look at the styles of the header in the titles. So in here we already have a sub style and we can pick any one we want. We can also pick a sub style for a column header and we can pick a sub style for the data. We can set the direction to go from one, two, three in order, or we can go from uh, reverse order. And uh, the headings, I can have the headings uh, where I want them. Usually, typically at the top, I could have the headings at the bottom if I want to, or no headings. The line spacing, I can uh, have the single line spacing, which is most common, double or triple. I can wrap the table, and I can invoke in, enable the automatic wrap. So this is when we have long rows of uh, our parts list. I can also put in a, a gap for the heading and a gap for the row. So we can set that up any way we like. And I can also reorder the numbers. So if the numbers get improperly numbered, I can reorder those. I can uh, save the items override to our bill of materials so if we change the count of items uh, we can have this updated in our bill of materials we can have the member selection the member selection is only available when we have parts from the I assembly and this allows us to select those members to be included in the parts list so I can uh, pick on any one of these columns right click and I can set the column width, how wide I want those columns. I can pick on it and I can format the columns. I can set the, the different types of uh, things I want to apply, uh, how I want to handle stack fractions, uh, justifications, things like that. So this is our parts list editing. And remember, we can 
edit the parts list in multiple ways by double clicking on the edges or highlighting it and right clicking. Uh, oop, we lost a highlight. Highlight and right click and go to edit parts list. So however we get there, we can modify our parts list to our needs.